Hello, Farm of Life family. Hello. Here we are. It's raining right now. Pissing it's down rain out pissing there. Pissing down rain. It's late October. Our season here at Farm of Life generally is from December to the end of October. And October can be a tough month. It's a little chilly, a little rainy, and that's exactly what it is. Um, but a couple of weeks ago, we've had a couple of wonderful guests arrive, and that is Robin and Bob Galloway. Say hello, hello Farm Life. Hello, Farm Life. <laughs> <laughs> to the family. Yes. And Robin came to us with rheumatoid arthritis that she's had for quite some time, and she'll tell you her story here in a second. And Bob came as a supportive husband. And, um, the two and that, that they, he is. Yeah, he's an amazing man. And the two weeks that they've been here has been really cool. Yeah. We've really made some really, really good lifelong friends, I really feel. And yeah. so let's get into it a little bit. Robin, let's start with you and, and your story. Just give us a little bit of a history of, of um, you know, how do you got to this place with the rheumatoid arthritis. Um, well, about 12 years ago, I was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis. Yeah. And I... Um, I used to run about six miles a day, and I took medications. My doctors put me on every drug you can imagine, until um, finally nothing seemed to work, and I got worse. And so I struggled with that, and after finding Jody and Brian's um, farm of life, I decided to make a trip out here and make a life change. And, um, and in 12 days, um, I've done that. My, I, I wasn't walking very well when I got here, as, the, as I said, and uh, just changing, think, learning a new way, that there is a way to get through this, and um, I've, I've, I've had probably five or six days of pain free. Wow. Amazing because uh, I am at five days of pain free in 12 years. So that's uh, amazing. I see it, you know, and I know that this is a, a process. So it's another probably, you know, Brian telling me six months of what I've been doing before I can even feel as good as he does all the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we had talked a little bit about how when you have an autoimmune disorder like this, and rheumatoid arthritis is one of them, how you, you generally have, like like here, right, you had some flare-ups, right, at first you didn't feel very good, right. but now you're starting to feel a little bit better, so you have some ups, right. and then we talked about, you know, you're going to plug this lifestyle back into wherever it is that you're going, but you may have some downs and then ups and then downs and then ups, and then all of a sudden it's just up. And, and like, for me it was a year and a half. For you, it, you know, you know, who knows? But at least six months, and you could really see some amazing results. Well, if I can see this in 12 days, I can only imagine six months. You know, because that it, it, it's just I, I can't I can't believe 12 days can have that kind of an impact. You know, um, all on um, the naturopaths and all of the supplements and all of the medical doctors and all of the drugs, nothing has given me what the last 12 days have done. Right, so you, so came, here, you came here for 12 days and you were doing green juices, right? right? Um, and I know you love those. You're, we have nonis falling off our trees, yeah, was, which are really anti-inflammatory as far as a fruit goes. Right. Um, eating monomealing fruits and the last five days, you've been sleeping really good, right? In the last five days, you've been absolutely pain-free. Right. So that's that's kind of, amazing. Yeah. Um, the, fruit, the, the different fruits here I've gotten to try, fruits I've never even heard of um, in the States. And so to be able to have all of that and unlimited amounts of it for my taking is just I mean, incredibly giving and we've loved every minute of it. And Bob, I, I, I tell you, if anybody has somebody in their life that can be a part of the process to helping you heal, I don't think I could have made this trip without him. And He's an amazing man, and let, let's move to, to Bob now, too, <laughs> who's just really came here, and we've had very few, like, supportive, spouses. significant others or spouses um, come, and Bob came here really with the intention to just be a supportive role, 
but Bob's you, been. But you decided, like Bob decided, what the hell? I'll, I'll try the green juices. I'm here anyway. I said, what the hell? What the hell? He said it. He said, what the hell? It's really healthy, but I have to admit, I was carrying around a little flubber, and in the process of helping Robin, it just so happened that I quit having headaches, which I had every day. I had uh, irritable bowel syndrome. I probably had two or three meals a day that were resulting in diarrhea and within 24 hours it was all done on a fruit diet, green juice diet, and salad. And it took a little bit of time to get used to it, but not really. I got full on the fruit, I was full on the salads, and I know Brian doesn't want me to admit it, but I weighed myself initially. <laughs> I weighed myself now. I've lost, I think, about 12 pounds in 12 days, which I wouldn't have been able to lose in three months. That's amazing. And, and ab actually, people come here, this is one of the best ways and healthiest ways to lose weight. And when you get someone like Bob, who really has no major health problems, but even the little minor health problems you had went away, but you lost weight, and toxins are stored in fat cells, so that really helps you for any future problem that you maybe may, may have had, you know what I mean? Right. So that's really good. So in a way, the scale can help someone who's not coming here with an absolute illness. Um, generally, no, I don't I don't care too much about numbers when someone's really sick. I don't really care, because then, then you're looking at a number instead of getting well. But to lose 12 pounds is amazing in a short amount of time. That but really I, is. Like you said, I feel better than I've ever felt. I bend over and I don't feel the, the wheel, the inner tube, and the inability to bend over and grab a shoe, grab a sock. That's right. The headaches are gone. I actually, I literally had headaches every day the last several months from eating chocolate, drinking Coke, uh, turkey from the deli that I knew was going to go right through me, make me sick, but I did it anyway. You ate it anyway, right. But I didn't know that fruit. I would have to say the fruit has been the best part of the diet. I don't miss the chocolate. The fruit's been sweet. It satiates my ability to to be full, and the food's been the best part of the whole the whole deal. That's amazing. Yeah. So we talked a little bit about the food, and now to kind of bring it now because we uh, here at Farmer Life we deal with the spiritual too. What do we learn there a little bit? Some of the spiritual stuff. That's the biggest stuff. So I'm curious to see what you guys leave with as far as the spirituality goes. The mind. Robin, what do you think? Well, I I have learned mm. that taking time for myself and just think, making my thoughts clear to breathe and take in just the beauty around me and not think about all the other peripheral things that go on in our lives, that just focus on the air and the ground I'm walking on and just settling and quieting my body, like having quiet time for myself. Like I've nice. done that, you know. Um, even like last night, I just kind of laid down and thought about the stillness and just quiet, nice. focusing my body to quiet down. So basically, be more in the now. Right. Because right when you guys came here, you watched the movie Peace of Warrior. Right. You know, I saw Bob reading The Way of the Peace of Warrior, and it really teaches the power of right now. It's all we got, you know? And that's also transforming and healing. So you really learn to quiet your mind out. You know, love, lessen the monkey mind. I love your story about last night because... You told me that you went to bed and you had a, you were kind of starting to hurt. Right. And you used your mind quiet. to calm yourself and quiet yourself, and then you fell asleep and you woke up and you were fine, no right. flare. And I was expecting to be in pain because that's the norm, you know. The prior pattern. to coming here would be that I would wake up and I wouldn't, I'd be, I wouldn't be able to move. My whole body would be in a complete flare. And uh, last night, after I woke up, I was. I felt like I did yesterday morning, which was great, and so I was just kind of uh, like uh, one of those um, wild moments where you, you know, it's an epiphany, you just like, wow, yeah, uh, maybe I have to turn the page or... Yes, or recognizing that the inside creates the outside, right. not the other way around, right. and that's, that's amazing, that's great. Bob, how about you? I take some of my uh, basic psychology that I learned and always forgot and never applied, but I always 
with your help, I've kind of seen how you can project ideas and images. Actually, you can see the projection of other people mm -hmm. and take it for what it is, which is usually their anger, their issues, and leave it on them and don't don't take it in. That's right. You're only responsible for your own energy. You know, you are. You can take on someone else's emotions if you want, but it's your choice, right? It's always your choice. And so you're the one, inside out, you're the one projecting that happiness, that gratitude, that joy. And if someone brings sadness and anger to you, what do you do? You just, you just in love and service to that energy. You don't have to respond to it with anger, right? Because then that just affects you. Right. You're just in service to that emotion that they're having. And believe it or not, if you have an energy of love and happiness and joy, you can shift that person that's angry and resentful. You can, it, that can happen all the time. And so these are the things that they learn here a little bit. So, so what, uh, what are you going to take home with you? Well, I, you know, a couple of things that were just, um, I, 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 you guys don't even know this, but prior to us coming here, um, you know, Bobby and I were having, like, we were just fighting a lot because, mm -hmm. you know, I think when people get sick, they do things or they say things, and when somebody's your caretaker or caregiver, they are frustrated because they probably can't fix whatever the problem is mm -hmm. at the time. So it was, um, this was very healing for us too because mm -hmm. we could become a support group together and um, just, I think that we both kind of like just seeing how taking, each of us taking care of ourselves and each other has made this, um, you know, all part of this healing. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Even taking, relationships heal. <laughs> yeah. We're taking home a lot of love. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, you are. Yeah. Absolutely. Wow. That that's amazing. We didn't even know that. I know. I that's know. really cool. Wow. All right. Well, you're going. You're leaving here. Yeah. yeah. Here very soon. In like an hour or so, you're yeah. heading out. And you still have a road ahead of you. You, you still. Know, you just got a, a jump start here. We got a toolbox. We're going so, home with it. So tell us where you got. I mean, it's so rainy and cold here, right? So you guys are you're 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 seeking sunnier, drier. That's for sure. Which is good when you have arthritis, I must admit. Because we wanted to see sun gazing. Yeah, that's a great practice. That Brian has taught us that um, it's very important to, especially with arthritis, because you know we need the vitamin D and our calcium levels are down and that's things right. like that. So. The sun provides all of that for us, and so we want to stay warm and dry, and um, that's kind of our plan. And you're off to either Florida or maybe Arizona right. to do that, which are two perfect states right now this time of year. That That's absolutely wonderful. And your full-time home, which is, we've seen photos of it, is unbelievable, and it's always been my dream to go to Montana is in Montana, but right. tell us a little bit about where you where you live and... Well, we live um, out the north of San Francisco, Yellowstone, in a small town called Red Lodge, but the weather wow. would get quite cold in the winter time. We have a ski mountain in our town, which originally, when we moved there, was why we went there, because we were skiers and very active, and, uh -huh. um, and now uh, the, the weather kind of affects my disease, so... For this year, we'll see next year might be different, but this year we're going to stay somewhere where we can continue this process, have all the fruits and vegetables that we need access to, and... We're going to buy a juicer, buy, uh, <laughs> buy yep. a rebounder. So buy a rebounder for sure. Rebounder, and, definitely. And, and work on the yoga, and practice our Tai Chi, and... Qigong. 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 That's right. And the great thing about... Nourishing the joints. The great thing about your illness, and as I was telling Robin last night, is, okay, you know, now she needs some sun and dry, right, because the arthritis bothers, bothers the wet cold. But when you get over this, because I had fibromyalgia and weather really, barometric pressure really bothered me, but when you get well, the barometric pressure and the weather doesn't bother you at all. And so you've got that to look forward to very soon, and you can spend as much time in Montana as you want. And my wife and I are coming to visit you guys. Well, you we're going skiing. I've always wanted to hang out with a bear. Okay. Right. Always. You have fun. I'll I'll be vlogging it. 
<laughs> yes. No. That will be Honey, fun. don't get too close to that bear. <laughs> <laughs> so, Bob, Robin, thank you so much for being here. Farm a life. My pleasure. Goodbye. We'll see you all in December, Farmer Life family. <laughs> all right, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.